Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. Oh, sorry, I'm Noelle. <laughs> yeah, she's learning how the show works. Um, I just out. <laughs> so, a lot of people have been saying since we've been checking out a lot of scary videos for the month of Halloween, October. People have been saying to check out 4chan posts. I don't know what those are. It's you, like a, you know? it's a chat room thingy. Okay. Well, apparently there's six terrifying 4chan posts. This was sent to us, so I was like, all right, I guess I'll check out this particular one. Created October 1st of the year 2003, the Google website 4chan became the center and layer for many internet servers. Posts are arranged by most recent, and its different categories allow for a wide variety of discussions. He sounds like Canadian Since Stephen Hawking. 4chan has acquired a very kind of special fame, and on many occasions its users are taking part in incredible stories. Okay. But on more than just a few situations, oh, yeah, that's where all the new many of the users of have come across a post with a story chance. so shocking that it becomes engraved in the long list of memories attributed to its community. These are six horrifying These are six terrifying 4chan posts. Maybe the hearts are green because they're supposed to be like clovers. <laughs> like, like Apart from Irish. the many different personalities that you can find in 4chan, it is important to say that among these can be lurking very evil individuals. Okay. For this reason, everybody needs to be aware and careful of how to interpret what is read. Okay. An anonymous post suggested a chemical experiment to create your own homemade fluorescent light. The experiment consisted of three simple ingredients, a plastic bottle, a chloride tablet, and isopropyl alcohol. All you had to do was fill up the bottle with alcohol, drop in a chloride tablet, close the bottle, and give it a shake. Little did everybody know that what was actually being created was a ticking time bomb. It is not exactly known if anybody was affected by this post, and quickly measures were taken by the moderators to make sure this post was deleted. Whoa! I'm not allowed to read 14. Number five. <laughs> it Ew. is November 30th of 2013. Is that B for a Vendetta? student from a university in Ontario, yeah. Canada opened up a 4chan post stating the following. This is it. Tonight I will be ending my own life. I've oh, been shit. spending Please. the last hours making the preparations and I'm ready to go through with it. As an old member who has been on 4chan since 2004, I thought I would finally give back to the community in the best way possible. I am willing to commit suicide on camera for you all. All that I request is for you guys to link me to a site where I am able to stream it for you. Then, I will gladly fulfill. Jesus. Sometime later, and with the help of a few supporters, the college student was able to set up the stream with a maximum capacity of 200 viewers. The spots got quickly filled up. Some encouraged the suicide, others tried stopping the student, but the vast, quiet majority just sat and watched. The student was seen taking pills and alcohol. He then set up a fire in his dorm and proceeded to hide under his bed. The room can be seen getting filled up with smoke over the course of 30 minutes until finally, a group of firemen break into the room and carry out his motionless body. The student was taken to the hospital where he later recovered. Oh, good. Number Jesus. 4. Still the shitty people who were cool with that. Fuck the Guatemalan guys. teenager Oscar Lopez found himself searching through his deceased father's belongings when he suddenly stumbled upon a hand grenade. Excited, but unsure what to do with it, he created a post on 4chan. He showed several pictures and posts in response to the comments in his thread. Just to prove that the grenade was real, Oscar agreed to perform all the tests that the 4chan crowd threw at him. In his last post, he is shown a picture of himself holding the grenade by the pin, asking if he should throw it on the toilet. Mandy kept the conversation going but Oscar would never reply back again. <laughs> Following a small investigation, it revealed that the poster's IP address was from the city of Guatemala, a place where the local newspaper displayed the death of a teen following a grenade explosion. Jesus, the man. The coincidences were just too many, and Oscar paid the price of his record. Talk about uh, the people that pressure you on this. I know, I'm never going to Fortune. Three. 
During the early hours of the morning, somebody opens up a simple post with a picture of a woman. The post says the following. If anyone can correctly guess their own post number, I will tell you where she is buried. This is a very popular game in Fortune. Many participated in the event until finally someone guessed correctly. When Following the correct guess, the original poster congratulated the winner and posted a set of geographical coordinates. The numbers were real, and many did not expect what was about to be revealed. The next day, a woman's corpse was digged out from the given position, and the creator of the post arrested for his murder. What the fuck a is this size? Like... Number 2. It all began with a fascinating and attractive post that quickly became popular among the thousands of messages that are created every second in 4chan. In it were posted beautiful images of crystals and instructions on how to make them. Anyone who read this post must have believed they would be beautiful decorations or a perfect gift. The post specified that these crystals had to be homemade. The simplicity of the experiment stood out immediately. All that was needed was a copper coin, a glass jar, two large tablespoons of sugar, and one large spoon of sodium bicarbonate. The experiment required the jar to be filled up with bleach and ammonia, a very simple chemical compound that is found in almost any cleaning solution. The cocktail then had to be fully mixed with the help of a straw by blowing bubbles into the solution. You have to the blow post bubbles happened into it. That within five minutes, crystals would start to form. But what silently awaited the people who followed these instructions was very different. What was actually being created was hydrochloric acid, an extremely poisonous chemical. It was a chemical used in World War I to kill people that it would burn skin tissue, and if inhaled, it would destroy your windpipe and in the worst cases, your lungs and internal organs. A few very educated users were quickly to post warning messages to deter people from the post, but it was too late. Many were affected by the horrendous act. This Number get one. An anonymous user opened up a thread with the following. Turns out it's harder to strangle somebody to death than it looks in the movies. Tagged along was a picture of his girlfriend's lifeless body. Her face was pale and purple and red marks could be seen around her neck. The 4chan community was quickly to react. Some believe the pictures to be staged, and a discussion quickly began on the legitimacy of the post. The original poster responded with another set of pictures detailing the incident, and wrote the following. She fought so damn hard. Her son will be home from school soon. He will find her, then call the cops. I just wanted to share the pics before they find me. I bought a BB gun that looks realistic enough. When they come, I'll pull it, and it'll be suicide by cop. I understand the doubts, but check the fucking news. I have to lose my phone now. Sometime later after the post, police responded to a call of a son who found his mother strangled. The killer was identified as David Callett. He later submitted himself to the police. That was just fucked up. Wow, talk about some disturbing shit that goes down on this website. I have never heard of this website. I'd heard of it because of, of the new Jennifer Lawrence photos and Jessica Brown Finley. Um, but I didn't realize that like people like tried it. Sorry, my boyfriend's laughing because he knows that I was like super stoked about Jessica Brown Finley. <laughs> You have to be a spe like a special kind of fucked up person to like encourage people to murder themselves by accident. I thought YouTube comment boxes were fucked up. This shit is like beyond something else. I bet. like yeah. it sounds like people are talking about doing horrible things to themselves, to people. Then you got a community of people who are like in support of such a dark thing. Yeah. Yeah, that one probably disturbed me the most, the fact that like so so many people were cool with that kid. Hydrochloric acid is what they use to break in bad. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Are you in the fucking video, Bridger? Are you, you, you in the fucking say. video? I said not to bring your boyfriend by. This is what fucking happens when someone brings a boyfriend by. Yeah, they the start video. fucking interrupting the video. It's okay. We'll just take some advice from 4chan on what to do with him. Oh, that's cool. 
come on, too soon. We just saw like, a lot of real things. Now we're gonna get, okay. The one that really shocked me was the guy who's like, I'm gonna commit suicide. And then there were like a bunch of people who were totally in support of him doing it because they just wanted to be entertained. Support of watching it. Like not just like I'm doing it and like in your mind, like talking to somebody yeah. that you don't know, but actually like it becomes real when you watch somebody and you know it's live. Like the fact that someone would be like, okay, I'm gonna like watch this person kill themselves over the internet. And then the serial killers and stuff. It's crazy how there's killers who out there who really do want the attention and really want the recognition yeah. for what they're doing. I saw a video of five YouTubers turn killers. So these are YouTubers with followings that turn into killers. Yeah. These are like killers who want to have like a certain following about it. It's like almost, you know, negative cultish, not positive cultish. Cultish. Well, cult is short for culture, Noel. So, you know, you don't have. We we live in an American cult, American culture. But then there's also things like Charles Manson's cult, which is not as good as the American cult. <laughs> the guy who strangled the the mother and then the kid had it. Like, geez, man, when you destroy one life, like you murder someone, you're destroying lives around a lot of other people. Yeah, too. I get really upset when there's like children involved in stories like that just because it's like this guy if it was his girlfriend he obviously knew this kid and knew that he was putting that child in the situation and like the fact that the child had to like find the body like things like that make me upset because i've had friends that have unfortunately have like found their parents and like i've lost my mom so like stuff like that like my mom wasn't murdered but like i can't even imagine the shock of being like a young kid and walking into that and like how fucked up that could yeah just... when my pops died my sister was the one to find him and that is she she's not even she was like still a teenager to find that that's already traumatizing enough but then yeah. it, i could only imagine you find out that he, they were killed instead you yeah know? fun channel we have yeah. fun videos for you with fun discussions afterwards thanks for the suggestion guys now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm never coming out of this show again. That's okay. You don't wear deodorant. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. You can subscribe today and become a Rejectosaurus. <laughs> I can't. No? You, don't, you wouldn't want to be called a Rejectosaurus? Why don't, why don't you just say, subscribe or get rejected? I don't know, that was dumb too. But if they're choosing not to subscribe, they're not being rejected. I'm the one being rejected. Subscribe or reject me. <laughs> you can check out No He Knows Not, yeah. where uh, No He Knows Not actually knows a hell of a lot. So oh, check it out. See what I did nice. there? That was nice, huh? That was nice. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a little nicer to you. Better than like Ryan reject source sites. Ryanidity. That's when you lose your virginity to Ryan. <laughs> Cornell Murray, hey brother, I'm a huge fan of your channel. Hopefully I can get on your level and receive all the bitches. Bitch number four. <laughs> sorry. No, that was funny, that was good. <laughs> sorry, no, you should have said that. LML, I mean LOL, JK, he meant to say LOL, not LML. Oh. Laughing my lips off. JK, but seriously, man, I have a shout out to my YouTube page, Cornell Murray, where I sing rock covers and shit. And my Instagram, Castle underscore Corn. Not a fan of your Instagram name. Don't laugh if you hear me sing. I'm still learning to, I'm still learning. LOL, stay cool, brothers. You're learning how to sing. And then you're putting that. you learning how to sing on YouTube, which is the exact platform you want for feedback because people are so nice and considerate and will appreciate the fact that you they know you're doing a work in progress. So they will be kind to you. They will not judge you if you're off. It's nothing but support on YouTube. Just look at the comments on this video. <laughs> nothing but support. I'm too terrified to post a, a video of me singing on YouTube. Mad respect to Veronica. I just don't, uh, ooh, that makes me Oh, so but he, he's black though. Okay, so here's all you gotta do then. You just gotta be tough at the end of your videos. Be like, you wanna talk shit? I'm gonna kick your fucking ass, bitch. You could throw in the N-word, I can't say that. But if you throw in the N-word, man, that'd be scary. Black subs, please defend me and tell me that you thought this was funny. So that way all the white subs will not call me a racist. I'm Ryan Ryan.